the True Glow True Tech Carbon Pro Stabilizers. You know, when you look at stabilizers, you're like, you know, will that really work? Well, True Glow really took their time on this. They, it's all a carbon composite. Right. And one of the big features that, that I really, I mean, not only do they have it in a six and an eight inch versions, but the big thing is, is they actually gave you collars on here. You, right. you know, stainless steel discs. And what they are is they're about, they're about a, I think, one ounce each. So you can fully adjust. Once you get this on your setup, you can adjust it by taking one or two off or whatever you may need to have that perfect balance. Perfect balance. All of this is going to help you reduce vibration through your bow. And it's also going to make it quieter. Right. You know, the bottom line is there are stabilizers that work and there's some that don't. Well, when you have all the flexibility and adjustability in a stabilizer like this, and they give you the option of either you know a six or an eight inch style, right. plus to adjust the weight, and they nailed it on this. The True Glow True Tech Carbon Pro Stabilizers. This is the Hitman Stabilizer. Um, these stabilizers are awesome, and we went through a lot of testing and rigorous. Um, designing to bring an amazing stabilizer to the market. Not only does this stabilizer come in multiple different options of 6, 8, 10, and 12 inch models, but we give you all kinds of features packed into this stabilizer. So what you can see here is every stabilizer comes with a quick detach um, feature that comes with every individual stabilizer and comes in with the kits as well. That will allow you to take this off of your bow when you're putting it in a case without having to remove the whole entire stabilizer. So that is just one cool feature that is built into these stabilizers. Um, you also will get customizing band colors so that you can just make your bow and accessorize it the way that you want to. Um, wrist sling as well and then all of the other mounting hardware that you would need with the stabilizer as well. Not only do they come in individual options, they'll also come with kits that will um, include a sidebar mounting option that will just allow your bow to better balance in your hand when you're at full draw. All of these great features packed into the Hitman stabilizer starting at $49.99 in the individual packages and $179.99 for the Hitman Stabilizer kits. We're out in the yard today doing a little practicing. We're getting ready to leave tomorrow on a hunting trip, and I just got one of the brand new True Glow Cadence Stabilizers in. This is a vibration dampening stabilizer, and I'm telling you, as I'm out here in the yard shooting it today, I am really, really liking this new stabilizer. You know, in years past, stabilizers could be big, bulky, heavy, and they were used to inhibit large amounts of vibration. But the modern stabilizers, especially like this True Glow Cadence here, concentrate on balance and efficiency. We're putting the weight exactly where it needs to be. We got two weighted offset discs in the front end of the stabilizer. The lightweight tube design puts the weight exactly where it matters on the end so it's not all the way up against the bow. This is the perfect stabilizer for the new hunting bows out there. So you got to check out this new Cadence Stabilizer by True Glow. I love when we get to bring you guys something that's just super easy, super quick, uh, but yet it makes sense for hunting. So basically, six inch stabilizer. What I like about six inch stabilizers, I'm not a dude that likes the foot long stuff. I, tr I traditionally almost 100%, all I am is a hunter. I'm not much for shooting um, tournaments and things like that, but it works well for that too. So what this mounting bracket does is when you take this here and loosen this, we're gonna be able to spin that Allen set screw and that's gonna allow us to slide the rope right through. And once you do that, once you slide that through there, then you just simply tighten down the Allen screw wherever you want that rope to stay. And that's it. I don't know how many people have looked over and seen their, their uh, wrist sling is loose on one side because they didn't tie it correctly or it didn't go on. So I've already put this one on my bow and all you do is tighten this down, get that as straight as you can. I keep the rope, I keep the holes going this way so that the rope comes up and through and then what I did on mine, because once the rope came through and I got my wrist sling where I wanted it, there was some extra rope. You could cut that off if you wanted to. I don't, and the reason I don't, a little tip for you guys that are gonna be hunting in cold weather or gals that are gonna be hunting in cold weather, I don't cut mine because now I could come back in, loosen that screw, and once I loosen that screw, I could push this rope back through and I wouldn't have to take any of this apart and it's gonna give me a bigger loop. So if I'm wearing like a heavy mitten or a glove, I don't have to adjust anything. My hand's still gonna fit through there. I mean, it, it just made it super simple. Again, it's not anything incredibly special, 
but it's just another way that Trophy Ridge is taking care of us as hunters. They're thinking about things that they're running into in hunting situations. This is the model that comes with the two weights. Uh, this is a fantastic stabilizer. I'll go ahead and uh, remove it from the riser here in a second. Uh, I've got these two weights. Uh, we're going to install both these weights. I believe they're uh, each 1.5 ounces. Um, if I'm incorrect, I'm going to put the uh, put the information at the bottom of the screen. Go ahead and uh, remove this real quick. As you can see, it's actually uh, made out of uh, carbon fiber, real carbon fiber. Uh, it's woven. Um, it's also not shiny. It's It has a matte sheen to it, which is really nice. It's not going to be shiny. Uh, when you're out there in the woods, it's got uh, uh, HD camo. This is a node, uh, what they call their broadband uh, dampener. And let's go ahead and remove. You want to grab the metal part here just to get it going. You don't want to you know, stress on that rubber part, I don't believe. And then uh, once you got it going, it just kind of comes off. I do want to say that the carbon fiber uh, tube, as well as the machined aluminum end caps, uh, it kind of holds a bunch of um, these particles uh, called NAVCOM. Uh, it's proprietary to Limb Saver. Uh, this stuff is magical material. I know it's it's crazy, but uh, it's the same stuff that the end caps, uh, excuse me, the uh, the broadband dampeners are made out of. Wonderful, wonderful material. I don't think I've ever used anything. Uh, on a bow that works as well to dampen vibration. So there you go, it's off now. As you can see, uh, okay, as you can see, the stud's actually really long, and that's to accommodate both these weights. And the way that I put these on is I just kind of get one started, and you know, you can you could do both, I guess, individually. I just like doing this. I'm just doing it slow for you guys. And then I, I start the other one. I leave about a quarter inch of, uh, of stud showing. And then, oop, one. There you go. Uh, and then, once I kind of get it a little, you know, snugged up, I'm going to start screwing both of them in at the same time. It just saves five seconds or so. I like saving time. There you go, and yeah, you don't want to you don't want to refund the rubber. Remember, just grab that metal piece, and if it starts to bind, just back one of them off and do them individually. It's no big deal. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in. There's a better shot of the carbon fiber, and this stuff's really, really nice. Um, one of the nicest stabilizers I've ever used. There we go, and uh, oop, I'm gonna get a better angle. So uh, I, I don't have the exact weight off the top of my head. Uh, I'll put it uh, in the video down below. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this. Again, this thing installs in seconds. And it's going to be uh, one of the best additions to your bow that you'll ever buy. It's been a heck of a hunt so far. We've seen a couple of really good bucks just haven't had everything come together yet. But each time that I come to a tree, each time I get set up in a stand, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I like to run through the scenarios what I mean by that is you look at your different gaps that your stand set for of where it could potentially happen. I like to draw my bow, get myself set, okay, if he's there, if he's there, and feel comfortable. So when that shot does present itself, I'm ready. And this carbon excess stabilizer is one of the most comfortable stabilizers I've ever had on a bow in my life. The balance and, and the feel that that stabilizer has on my bow, I couldn't be happier with. And from the second the bow is in your hand to your waiting to draw, to when you come to full draw to your follow through, the comfort of that carbon excess is top notch. It has performance based composites for vibration and noise reduction. You can actually change out the coloring. So if you like blue, you can put blue on there multiple different colors that you can choose from in case you want to trick out your bow to have different colors that you like on there. It also has a vibration dampening adjustable weight suspension system. Another thing that's really cool about this Carbon XS is this continuously curving system. What that curving system does for you is it, it helps and it's designed for balance and energy transfer. So when you're, when you're balanced, when you're sitting there at full draw and on your follow through, that's gonna help everything with your shot. From the moment you're at full draw to the follow through, you're set one way or the other with the balance and the energy transfer. So all in all, I can't say enough good things about this Carbon XS stabilizer. I love it. I'm proud to shoot it. We're proud to be a part of Team Trugo. And I wish all of you nothing but the very best in the timber this fall. Let me show you how easy it is to mount your Tacticam to your bow. You're going to need your bow, your stabilizer, and 
the provided Allen wrench that comes with your accessory box. Start by loosening the thumb screw that holds your Tacticam into the stabilizer. Remove your Tacticam with the provided Allen wrench. Insert it into the front of the stabilizer. This is going to allow you to attach the stabilizer to your bow. Once the stabilizer bolt started, simply tighten the stabilizer onto your bow. Make sure your thumb screw is facing down and the large opening for your camera is going to be straight up. This is going to give you proper alignment for filming and operating your camera. I'm just going to tighten this up. Insert your camera into the stabilizer. Tighten the thumb screw and there you go. You're now ready to share your hunt.